killed it by accident. I didn't want to do that. Why? Why would you do this? Why? <laughs> no. Poor Yamper. Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Pokemon Shields with me, your girl, No Fuses. Um, we are about to go outside and hand hops ass to him once again for the second time in this game. Yes, I'm keeping track. So let's just go outside and do that so we can be endorsed and do this gym challenge. I can never find the front door. Never. I always like see these doors and for some reason I just want to go through them. But whatever. And if you guys like this video, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Where are they at? Hurry it up! You, got, you gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. Confident much. Oh, does okay. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need the endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm on Beetle is because I learn from every battle I see or take. Pardon. That's how I got into where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. By losing. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Ha. a bit stronger, me and my team will put you to the test. Yes, they both got in their level. Yeah. Bossy learned home claws. That's an Aluki, do I want to switch? Nope, keep current Pokemon. Super effective. <laughs> This is gonna be quick. Well, look at you! Seems you really learned your type matchups. Well, you're done. Ah, oh, I thought it was gonna get to number 11 too. Quick one turn has about to say about Rookie D. You switch Pokemon. Well, let's switch for this one. Let's see what Foxy can do. It'll be a close one, but that's a draft for my sort of match. Uh, no, it's not gonna be a close one. I'm I'm about to defeat you. Like it's over, guy. The team's too nervous to eat berries. Okay. Quick attack, beat up. Hmm, let's do quick attack first. Alright, let's try beat up. Oh man, that barely. Did. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, jeez. 
Yep, there he goes. One more hit and you're done! There we go. Ugh, gutted that I lost. But I expect nothing less from my rival. Got $640 for winning. And I even got my Pokemon throw perfect too! The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is key to two of us getting stronger, right? No fuses. Ha! Huh. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both endorsement as champion. Oh, let her endorse. So he already had written him up. He already planned to do this. Let her recognition that we'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still, and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charles and I were both feeling the excitement every last cell in our bodies. Hope you've always tended to get caught up in things like how to throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you've really grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for the champion's title. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? What is that? Would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one of yourself. So, so stars just fall out the sky and just just land conveniently. No crater, no nothing. Just conveniently. Here's a wishing star. A stone found in the Galar region with mysterious power. It is said that your dreams come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive, yes! Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have true wish in their heart, you know? I'll be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! There! I said it three times! So surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hob. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galley region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. Alright! You've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give no fuses in me the power of Dynamax on our Pokemon! First, we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in Slimming World, and now this? It really feels like we get caught up in an adventure of a lifetime! I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. But where did you come from? You've been there the whole time? Seems I came home right on time for the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally upset with making the latest trinket curries. It's morning at last. It's time for adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. I hope it is true that you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize. Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, well, there was a weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. We Felix to try to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. From information you are. 
No fuses. Ha, huh. these are for you. You got a, uh, you got a dominant band from Professor McGurley and slipped it onto your wrist. A wishy star has been affixed to it. It lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. Oh snap! All right. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not as simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go all sorts of places to meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help fill out your Pokedex too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, I'll beat you to the station. All right, well that happened. We're definitely gonna see that Pokemon again. But all I did was throw some fog at us. That's literally all I did. Just, just, just threw some fog at us. Oh, okay. I was about to say, it's like, is there nothing here? But there is something here. Hey, that. The user stores power than attacks. If the user moves after the target, this attack power will be doubled. Oh. No, we can't go in there. Oh, there's another one. Yes. Found a great ball. Yes. A good high performance Pokeball that provides a higher success rate for catching Pokemon than a standard Pokemon. One last thing before we race. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes you see Pokemon wander about in tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any nervous. I already figured that out. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail proof trick? Press the left stick. Try it out. Let's see who can catch the most Pokemon. You remember where the station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before. That's the goal. See you there. Oh my god, that one's super powered up. Is there any Pokemon that I want in here? Oh, that's how you whistle. Don't, don't follow me. I'm good. All right, I guess it's back to the station unless I see something else. But I think I got everything. What are you doing right here? You know what? You're mine now. You're mine. I said it, so so shall it be. I don't know what affects you the most, so... One more. <gasps> no, I killed it by accident. I didn't want to do that. Why? Why would you do this? Why? <laughs> no, for Yamper. I didn't want to kill you. I was trying to catch you. Why? Why, Score Bunny? Maybe I can find another one while I'm out here. Oh, there is one right there. Uh, there we go. I need you not to kill this one. Uh, OK. 
Okay. That should be plenty enough. Come on. Come to mama. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, another level up. Yay! This glitz Pokemon only assists people with their work because it wants treats as it runs and crabs with electricity. Okay, so I was I was looking at this, I was like, I wasn't sure if this was a normal type or an electric type. So I was right in assuming it was electric because of its tail. But this thing is pretty much a dog. It, it I'm going to help you as long as you feed me. You never beat me at station at this pace. Look, we taking our sweet time, okay? Don't you rush me. Oh my god, it's so high tech. So out with it! How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. And you got yourself? Oh, just one? Looks like we're at a draw. Though we are rivals and all, so that's fair. Star-shaped graves are shut at opposing Pokemon. This attack never misses. Oh, good to know. That's Mechanical Machine ATM, mate. With ATM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge is will begin in Motostoke. And our trains win, so let's go! Fast, you two. Oh, our moms came to say goodbye. What are you doing here, mom? I knew this date was coming since the moment you chose Grookey as a partner, darling. Professor Mongolia was kind enough to let us know you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Oh, thanks. Usually in the in the last Pokemon games, you just kind of wandered and wandered until you found like a Pokemon Center or an inn, maybe. You, you, they don't know sleep. Everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking in the wild area or a camping spot. No matter what happens up there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just think how lucky you are. Mother of the first ever pair of champion brothers. <laughs> because I'm certain to be the champion next, you'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. Oh my god, the confidence is just oozing off this man. There are loads of brilliant trainers all kinds of spoken out there waiting for us. My son is running ahead of me even faster than the train can go. Come on, we're off! Oh, this is a nice train. You get a train cutscene and everything. Motostoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. <laughs> it looks like a gangster. 
Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I'd ever get tired of it. Hey, Miss. Hey, Mr. Station Master. Is this the wild area? Where would? What are we stopped here for? Yes, it's the Wild Area Station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wulu on the tracks. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. This water is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to talk to him, but apparently my character wants to chill. What? I received Eevee? So I just got an Eevee just off the bat. Just literally, you just handed me Eevee. Like you didn't want no trade, no price, no nothing. You just hands me Eevee. What the? Thanks to its unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokemon conceals many different possible evolutions. Yeah, this thing can evolve into any type. The EV I gave you is special, you know? You should definitely Dynamax it. You, you just handing out EVs like candy? Hey, have you and Pikachu had a... Oh no, I think I was mistaken. Don't mind me. So what if I had talked to you first before him? Would, would I have gotten a Pikachu first? <gasps> no, what? Oh my god, I think I realized it. That's why he keeps saying, let's go experience. They're talking about the let's go Pikachu and EV game. Because I got, I have Let's Go Eevee, I got Eevee. But if I had bought Let's Go Pikachu, I would have gotten Pikachu. Holy shit. <laughs> I get it. I get it. That's brilliant game. Thank you for the free Eevee. And you're just giving up Pokeballs too? You're j just for no reason, just handing out Pokeballs. Just because I feel like it. No matter how strong Pokemon is, you'll be able to catch it eventually. So as long as you join in the gym challenge and gather the gym badges. Like, Hop is missing out on all this action. Like, I'm over here just re receiving free Pokemon, free stuff, and he just kind of just walks <laughs> off. How many revives do I have? I got six. I don't got any antidotes or anything, so. Wait, so find your way to most so we're walking through oh my god. Wow, this is this is beautiful. Hi there, would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yeah. I'll take a few seconds then. I already did it before I left, but I'm doing it just in case. Look at that. I bet all those red lights are camp spots. That's Monostoke, way off that way. In between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, if it isn't Sonia. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trains are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Damn, shit. <laughs> ah, never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Grand will admit I've got some talent. 
Yikes, being an adult has its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road, really. It's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it out outside again. Well, I'm off to stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle the snout of a bunch of diamonds Pokemon and fill in another page of my tale of my legend. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on our level, you know. You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too, if you want to take opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit ingrid beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be diamonds poking about inside. So with that, how about I send you off a little treat for me? Pokemon Fox Link. A device that allows you to access Pokemon storage system. There's some places where it won't work. Huh. You can use Pokemon Box Link to access your Pokemon Box while you're on the road. You'll be able to add Pokemon to your party book. Oh, <laughs> I know what this is. This is literally a way for me to transfer Pokemon that can't be my party to the box. Because I won't be near the ATM where I can do that in the po Pokemon Center. Okay, I get it. I get it. With the Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes. Or take Pokemon from your boxes and to add them to your team. Nice, right? So go while so go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in as some more of your Pokedex. The war area is waiting for you. This is the start of a real adventure. <laughs> I see this guy's fishing. Alright, off we go. <gasps> On our first real adventure. I, oh my god, there's an onyx just right off the bat. And I would go for it if it wasn't for the fact that I have nothing to take on onyx right now. I have absolutely nada. What is that? Is this something bouncing? And he will be mine. It's another rabbit. I don't know what goes against you, so we'll try everything. Ooh, that did. Shiza. Oh, but that did a lot though. Let's catch you. I got two bunnies in my team. Is this gonna be the bunny team? It's very sensitive to danger. The sound of Corvinite's flapping will have Bonery digging a hole to hide on the ground in moments. I'm just gonna call you bunny. Again, I know I said I wasn't going to be all up in these freaking nicknames, but look. Don't judge me. Okay, there are a lot of you, and I need to like, get out the area right now. What is that? You found a note. Did someone drop it here? The large Pokemon you see wandering around there are strong. If you try battling one, it seems like you're in over your head. Try to run, run like the wind. Okay, so big Pokemon are no-nos right now. Cooking your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon and even the PP they need to use in their moves. Pokemon that are fainting can't battle anyone will perk right out after with the piping hot play of curry before them. Visit Berry trees to collect plenty of berries, so you can always make some curry. So I, so you still can go out into the wild and go ahead and get some berries. But the fact that they still made a berry shop for convenience. 
is like, oh my god. How many more can I shake? Is it a never ending? Like, they're being very generous with the berries in this game. Because usually, if I go to a tree or freaking bush, it'll give me like maybe one or two and be like, there's no more berries in this bush. I'm like, it's a bush! How is there only one or two? Um, I wanna know. Is that how you do it? Oh, it is! Pokemon Camp. In your Pokemon camp, you and your Pokemon can play together and even eat together. Growing closer through the experience, if your Pokemon grow very close to you, they may even try extra hard for you during battle. You can play using your Joy-Con too. If you slide your Joy-Con off your system, it can wave and throw a ball for your Pokemon to retrieve or wave a Poke toy for delay. If you waggle that Poke toy, you might even notice Pokemon hanging out farther back in your camp to come play. Aww, that's cute. When you set up a camp in the wild area, you will be able to play with up to three other trainers at a time. All kinds of Pokemon and people have stumble upon your camp, even those you've never met before. So get to know them as you play together. Huh, neat. Take out toy. Let's see what happens if I take out a toy. Evie, of course, loves it. She's like, yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. It's so adorable. Cooking up a fun career while out camping must let the ingredients and berries of your liking. You're Curries will get more delicious if you choose to do things like using rare ingredients or adding lots of berries to it. Sorry, I accidentally like, skipped over one. Once you start cooking, fan the flames with your fan to keep things hot enough and stir things up with your Lego to keep them moving. Only don't go overboard. You don't want to spill. The last step will be to add a bit of soul into it and get the right timing. You have made a mess for your Pokemon to enjoy. After you finish cooking, it'll be time for everyone to dig in together. Eating a tasty curry can have a number of effects on a Pokemon that are at your camp, including restoring their HP, making them feel more friendly towards you. Oh, let, let, let's try this. Let's see what happens. Um... It has an acquired taste. Let's use the peachy one. Um, let's add three. Uh, let's add two. We just are cleaning with the current selection. Yep, let's, let's do this. Flames! Ben, come on. <laughs> Evie's like, I smell food. Put some love in there. Is it done? <laughs> Throw like yes. That is a big pot. Ooh, I would eat it. That looks good. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> oh. oh my god, it's good. All right, cool. I thought they were just like about to throw it up. I thought they so mad. Tasting rating. Wow, buffet class. 
Your Pokemon's HD would sort by half. Your Pokemon gained a few experience points. Squirt Bunny and the rest of your party got friendly towards you. Oh my god, that is adorable. I love it. Tape down tent. Everyone wants to learn double kick. Should, uh, yeah, forget it, oh, move. We're gonna forget the one move we've barely used this whole time. <gasps> Ooh, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Yep, you're mine. A very strong looking haunter. How strong is he talking here? Holy crap, no run for our little lives. I am so sorry, Spur Bunny. You enjoyed your curry and I put you in this I I run. Run. Oh my god. I am so sorry, Spur Bunny. I am so sorry. Like we need to get run. I was not expecting it to be that strong. And then the Dynamax ones are even stronger. No, we we're we're, we're not gonna mess with that right now. We're literally just gonna get over here into this nice town, find a hotel or something. We'll come out here later. No, I don't want it. And, oh, it's cute! I want it! He has a face that just says, I'm up to no good. Oh my god, ow! Oh man. Ow. Okay, the, the, these aren't doing much damage. Uh, let's try a quick attack. That didn't do any either. That, that did nothing. Uh, um, let's try Home Claws. That's all it does. Uh, yeah, we're gonna switch Pokemon here. Uh, let's try Eevee. Oh my god. You know what I need to do? I need to revive my score bunny. My score needs to come back in, in, in action. Payback again. I mean, for a word of hurt. Let's see how that goes. Uh, 
sunset. Again, some. It's super eff That was effective? Oh my lord. No, no, my bad. Oh no. There we go. Yes, thank you. Shuffle. That one gave me room for my money. I was like, oh, jeez. Everyone's loving up, too. Looks like a stuffed animal, but it's hard as a rock. The way it protects itself by flaring its arms may be an adorable sight, but stay well away. This is feeling that can snap three tree trunks. Yeah, I see. It's the fighting type? I'm calling you Teddy. That that is your name, and that's what your name shall be. Cause I literally, it literally looks like a stuffed animal to me, like literally, like a Teddy. That was ridiculous. Let's make it to the town, please. Oh, hello. I fished out something brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Want my brilliant fine for a brilliant bargain of 100W? Um, no. How about no? What? What a brilliant bargain for you. I don't care. Found a note of someone dropping. Lunar is overflowing with special sort of energy, measured in watts. You can gather watts yourself by, by, from glowing Pokemon dens and glowing Pokemon in the wild. You'll also find trainers in the water who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you'll give them some sort of rewards. Ah, okay. I thought she was trying to rip me off. I really did. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to them later. Wow. It's got a bit of a rustic charm to this place. I see a huge onyx. I saw that onyx, I was like, no. <laughs> I can already tell that onyx is strong as hell. I was like, I was not about to go against that. All right, guys. Well, it looks like I ran out of time for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, Please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. We're finally in Motostoke, and we we had a close call already in the beginning of this game. Like that haunter and stuff will almost took out everybody. That was that was that could have been terrible. <laughs> but yeah, we're going ahead and enjoy the city and see what's going on in there and. If I have time, I'm probably going to go back in the water area and see what else is in there. But we'll do all that in the next video. Bye!